Why are so many Jamaicans ignorant of their own history? Hmm? Why so much dunce people in my comment section? Oh my God, people, stop it. The Jamaican accent is not an African dialect. What's up, guys? Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Dash Lifestyle. Kindly, if you're watching me for the first time, remember to subscribe, like, share, and also comment to my returning subscriber. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my video. Thank you so much for the love and support and greetings, greetings to my Jamaican family and also to all Caribbean countries, to anyone who watching me, greetings, greetings. And remember the motto of this channel, it is out of many, one people. So guys, today we have another video and guess guys what are uh, before talking uh, to this, there is a video going around. There is an Asian lady who she is saying, there is an Asian Jamaican lady who she said that uh, Jamaica Patois or Patois language, it is not originally from Africa. Yeah, there is uh, also some proof that uh, she is showing us so that uh, we ca she is showing the proof that uh, there is a... Uh, so there is, during the Olympic in 2016, there is an Irish people, they were talking uh, the Patois language. They were talking uh, their language, but uh, it is somehow similar with Patois language. So this lady, she is saying that Patois language, it is not uh, made of African dialect. Yeah. And uh, guys, I want you to watch this video again and I will come back and uh, explain it to you. Ministry of Education. I have a bone to pick with you. Why are so many Jamaicans ignorant of their own history? Hmm? Why so much dunce people in my comment section? Oh my God, people, stop it. The Jamaican accent is not an African dialect. The Jamaican accent, like everything associated with modern Jamaican heritage, is in fact the byproduct of the cultural melting pot that our motto embraces. In fact, in terms of cadence, it's most similar to an Irish accent. Arrow, I've been shook enough now to be honest since the, the racing has been tired now and the legs are like jelly but um, yeah I suppose we did a bit of celebrating and did the podium thing and got to put on the podium pants as well. You see as early as 1656 Oliver Cromwell ordered 2,000 Irish children to be taken to Jamaica and sold to English settlers. The extent of Irish immigration to Jamaica was so prolific in the centuries to follow that 25% of Jamaican citizens can claim Irish ancestry. And this includes Bob Marley and Marcus Garvey. So if you never know, now you know. Again, out of many, one people. So guys, after watching this video, I remember uh, on my previous video, we had another Asian, I don't know if she's the one, we had an Asian Jamaican lady who also, she was saying that uh, uh, Jamaica, it is not an African country. Yeah, this lady also, she was saying Jamaica, it is not an African country. And also she was going ahead and saying, if you don't have, if you are, uh, if you are, for, if you are living from another country and you are, uh, if you are, if, if you are a Jamaica and you don't have Jamaican passport, uh, when you are visiting Jamaica, they will in in immigration they will stamp your passport that you have come with and they will give you a period of uh maybe let's say two days after two days uh you will need to go back to your country or where you came from or if you don't want to go they will if you are you are limit if you are limited time it is expired and you are still in jamaica the immigration will come for you and will deport you and also she was saying that uh, also us in Africa, if you are going to uh, Jamaica, you just know Jamaica, it is not an African country. So if you are going to Jamaica also, uh, you will come and the immigration will give you a time which you will need to stay in Jamaica. When your time is over, you will need to go back to your home. Also, you will need to go back to... Uh, or if you stay longer, the immigration will come for you and will uh deport you guys you can see i don't know why this asian lady is uh she was very angry with us africa or i think it's because of recently uh jamaicans most of uh black people in jamaica they have a good relationship with 
Africa. I think this is the some of the reason why this Asian lady she is getting angry because of the good uh, relationship between uh, black Jamaicans and African, and also uh, you you know uh, the black uh, Jamaicans who are in Jamaica. They are our brothers and sister. When you go to their history, you will find most of them they came from Africa, West Africa, and this is now the. Uh, some of the reason why this lady she is now getting angry to see the good relationship between us African and uh, uh, Jamaican black Jamaican and also uh, we have another Asian lady I don't know guys if this lady she is still the same with the uh, the one that I did who she was saying that uh, uh, Africans when you go to Jamaica just know Jamaica it is not Africa country so I don't know if she's still the one. But I leave that aside. So we have this Asian lady. Also, she's lecturing. Uh, I don't know if she's lecturing Jamaican. I think she's lecturing Jamaica uh, to tell them uh, she's questioning uh, the Ministry of Education in uh, Jamaica. She's telling I don't know what they are teaching their children in school because uh, the language, Patua language, it is not an Africa language. It didn't come to Africa, guys. I don't know what I can tell this Asian girl or what it is wrong with Asian, uh, Jamaican Asian people. Uh, they have started uh, saying things like this because she's even questioning the Ministry of Education. And you guys, we uh, from the history that we have all learned about Jamaica, we are being told that uh, the Patua language uh, it is English. Uh, it is some of the some of the Patua language it is made of English and then some of the African languages that Africans came with it during slavery and also Asian they are also included uh, they participated in making of Patua language and uh, it, uh, she's saying the truth about uh, Patua language it is not only made of Africa yes of course it is not made only of Africa it is also made of Scottish they participated Irish the Chinese uh, Africans and English itself so let's go to the history of Jamaica and we see between the Asian and African who came first to the highland because in the history we are being told that uh, the first people to uh, arrive in Jamaica they are Taino Arawaks people yeah, they are the first people to live in Jamaica. They live in Jamaica like uh, like uh, 900 years ago. And the second people to come to Jamaica, they are Spanish. Spanish visited Jamaica and also when the Spanish were in Jamaica, they also brought some of the uh, slavery from uh, Africa and majority it was West Africa. But during the Spanish when they were in Jamaica, they did not bring a lot of... Uh, uh, Africans uh, to Jamaica during uh, their time when they were in Jamaica after Spanish uh, stayed in Jamaica for a period of like 150 years then the British came Christopher Columbus with his crew of colonizer came to the island and when Christopher Columbus came to the island he conquered and also uh, he came with a lot of disease and uh, now the Spanish were of uh, Overpower. Then the Christopher Columbus and the British took over the highland. After came uh, to the highland, they were already found that English it was already dominating the island. So English it was became now the common language to the highland. So after British came, they took over the island and also they started to bring slavery from Africa, West Africa. So you have seen. Uh, now they, this is now when the uh, majority of African came. You can remember the first African they were came to, they were brought with with uh, Spanish, and now British now they are bring, bringing more African. So uh, Christopher Columba or the Spanish or the British they bring almost two million uh, slavery from West Africa. When the time that uh, slavery it was almost ending, they almost brought two million, and you can see after. Uh, now the uh, slavery was abolished, was being abolished in Jamaica. Now 
uh, you know, uh, the, the Africans were working the plantation farm. So due, when the slavery it was abolished, some Africans were reluctant to go and work to the farm, to the plantation. They were reluctant. So when these owners of the big plantation, they saw that, they decided to bring now the uh, Asian, the Scottish, the Irish to the highland to help them to build, to help them to plant, uh, to work on their plantation. And this is now when the time that uh, Asian, Irish, Scottish, now they came to the highland. So guys, you can see uh, the first one, it is English. And the second one, it is some of the African some of the African who were brought in Jamaica. They came with their different languages, and also they mixed it with English. Now you will find Patua. And also because of the Asian who came late uh, to the island, they also participated in making of the Patua language. So Asian lady, I'm talking to this Asian lady, but and then. Uh, this Asian Jamaican lady, I think you should now stop uh, criticizing people because the first thing, the first one you said, uh, Jamaica is not Africa country. We agree with you, but uh, why are, why are you hating uh, the good co the good connection that we have as we have African with our brothers who are there in Jamaica with our brothers African Jamaicans who are there. I don't know why are you hating on that, and also now you have extended to the Patois language. I don't know why are you hating uh, African praising uh, Jamaica. So Asia, Asian lady, uh, I'm not talking this on a bad way, guys. I'm talking this on a good way because this week it is my celebration. Uh, it is my birthday celebration. Uh, the, the other day it was my birthday and uh, I don't want to take this, to talk this on a bad way. I'm just uh, trying to make sense to the uh, Asian Jamaican people and also to tell them that as Africa we are not hating uh, you Asian Jamaican uh, there in Jamaica and also for us uh, when we love Jamaica we don't love only black people in Jamaica we love all people in Jamaica because they are brothers and sisters and also we understand your motto it is out of many one people so we cannot deny about that and also uh, on my other point, it is uh, we agree uh, with you and I've told you the story, the short story of how Patois language it was formed. So Patois language, it was mainly formed uh, of English and many uh, languages from Africa and also you Asian participated on it. So it is not only African. So and also I don't know why you are saying that the Ministry of Education is teaching uh, children wrong way. I don't know what you have read or I don't know what you have read that's why you are questioning even the Ministry of Education in uh, Jamaica. I agree with you we are still using the uh, colonizer uh, educational system. Even here in Kenya we are still using the uh, system uh, whereby our colonizer came with it and uh, we are still trying to correct some uh, some of the things and also uh, we are also learning in one way or another we will also come up with our educational system here in uh, Africa and also even you there in Jamaica also if you think that they are teaching bad way you can go to the Ministry of Education and try to raise some of the issues and uh, guys I'm not saying this on a bad way please don't stone me no and uh, if you you uh, think that i'm going anywhere wrong you can comment down below and correct me so i uh, know i don't hate asian people in jamaica because now most of you will say dash now you are hating asian jamaica no i love jamaica and jamaica it is on my heart it is inside my heart and uh, because of you guys uh, i'm growing each and every day and thank you so much first of all to your love and support no matter where you're watching me from, I know most of Jamaicans, they live in USA. Thank you so much for the love and support. And the other day, you showed me some love and support towards my birthday. And thank you so much, guys, for that. I'm not taking it for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much a million times. For those who send a gift, I've received it. I've enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, wherever that money came from, may God bless you and give you more of that. So... Uh, I just want to wrap this video up. 
because I think if, uh, when I go further, I will maybe spoil something, and I don't want that, guys. And uh, so, see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. And if you haven't liked this video, like this video according to YouTube, a gola, a gola, a logarithm. Uh, when you like this video, it will spread to so many people, and they will know about uh, Jamaica, Patoa language, where it came from. And please, our Asian, uh, Jamaican, uh, lady kindly we are not africans praising jamaica for in a bad way we are not saying that uh, uh jamaica it is only now belonging to africa no we don't say like that it is it is uh, that uh, jamaica it is 92 percent of people who are in jamaica they are coming from africa and now jamaica it is predominantly uh africa blacks let me just say black yeah it is predominantly black nation and because of more of our African brothers and sisters being there, majority of them, they are our brothers and sisters from here in Africa. Now we can, that's why you can see uh, they participated in almost everything. And also I agree with you, you have said some of the uh, heroes from Jamaica, they are from Irish. Maybe you'll say Marcus Gavi, he, uh, he has an ancestry from Irish. Also you have said... Uh, Bob Male, also father, he has an history from uh, Irish. I agree with you and not, I don't want to disagree with you. And uh, because of uh, Jamaican having too many people from different uh, countries in Jamaica, that's why the motto of Jamaica it is out of many one people. But you guys, you see, uh, now Africans, they have made Jamaica what it is today. Because of Africans being in Jamaica, they have made Jamaica to be what it is today. So, uh, I don't want to go further more uh, of that. And I can see uh, here in Africa, the rain, it is eating everywhere. You can see the dark cloud. Yeah, the cloud, it is too dark. And also you can see how beautiful africa it is this is a farm people they have plant we have banana we have the corn or the maize also i can see somewhere over there there's someone planted sugar so african we are good and also for me sometimes i will come to jamaica that's why i don't want to talk anything bad i'm i'm advocating for jamaica yeah and most of you you know that dash uh you are advocating for Jamaica and also if you want me to talk about something kindly you can comment down below and uh, let's share the goodness of Jamaica. See you guys next time. Bye bye.